All right, I'm gonna be doing a video updating you guys on the current progress of upgrading to LED lights in the apartment. So um, yeah, this one, I'm just gonna be showing you guys the ones that are still the same. The um, bevel glass light kit in the kitchen, which was the most recent one until the ones that I just got um, last, this past Saturday, when I got these fan stuff at Home Depot. I got these at Ace Hardware for two bucks. Let me get the box out. Well, you can see it. Since I still have it, since it had a fourth one in there. The green and white LEDs. And the, they are soft white. So, um, yeah. I had a warm white one in here in the kitchen before. Before the um, schoolhouse. Oh, no. Single glass light fitter broke on it. The chain broke, so, um. And it was definitely too bright in here, just for having one light bulb. And the birds were getting pretty mad, especially him, the noisy guy. Um, my mom said it was bright, but it didn't really matter her much, but they were screaming a lot more at night, so. Yeah, they weren't happy, I would just say that much. So I figured stay away from the um, bright white slash warm white area for the kitchen, since... The thing is, the CFL that was in there before it wasn't very lighting up to the kitchen as well, so I figured I'd just put it in there until I found something that was that was bright but not too bright, but the chain on it broke, so I figured I'd put this bubble glass light kit on the, on the kitchen fan, and it turns out this is going to be a permanent light kit on here. Until, unless I get bored, I want to try something else on it, but yeah. I found these at Ice Hardware. I was looking for something that was like this, like they had a, the, um, something that would look per appropriate for this light kit. But, um, so I was going to get the ones that were, like, half white on the top and then the other bottom part lights up, something like that. And then I found these ones, clear ones, so I figured this, this is perfect. And for two bucks, that made it even better. Because I wanted to try something, find something that would look good in this white kit, but I didn't think it would happen like this or that was just all clear. So, um, yeah, I'll turn it on. And it's actually been doing a great job since I put them up. They actually lay up the room very well. And it does look a bit out of place, the fan in the kitchen, because you see white cabinets, white, white stove and such. But I made it work. I mean, I kind of forced it in here, but it looks good either way. If it was like an oil or a bronze fan, that would definitely look more out of place. I mean, it kind of, the fan looks like it's kind of been here even before the... We put, I put this up when we moved here, and the kitchen was already done when we moved in this apartment and such. But it looks like it was here before they renovated the kitchen, I guess. Oh, partially renovated, it, so um, yeah. So um, here's the bedroom. It's a bit dark, only because I have this one light on. But I'll just show you how dark it is without it. Yeah, somewhat dark. Um, yeah. So in here, I'll show that in a bit. I have this. I don't even know the brand name of it, but I got them at um, Walgreens. This one came with one. These are warm white, not soft white. So they are definitely a bit brighter. They're more close to like a, um, a bright white, but not um, that bright. So this one had, these are the sec, these four right here in this spot right here are the second pair that I got when I first got LEDs. The first ones were in the living room, so. And yes, these aren't the right types you should use for a spotlight. And I just found out recently, so, um, but I'm keeping these in here only because I don't need them to be that bright in this bedroom. These already lay up the bedroom perfectly, even if I shut off this light over here. I mean, it's a bedroom. I don't need it to be extremely bright. So, um, well, my voice is not going in here. It hasn't even happened in a while. But, um, this from out here, you can, it lights up the room just fine, so I don't really need it to be, I don't need those other type of, those correct types in here on this one since they left the room well. I mean it would just be more bright it would just be brighter in here if I did that. And I don't need them even I don't need them brighter than they already are so um yeah. Cause it is a bedroom. And here's what these are this is the third one. These High electric ones, I guess. 
Yeah, I got them at Walgreens. They were five. They came. They were like five bucks, and it came with four of them. So I got the one that I just took out this way over here, and the one that's in that way up. Um, a while ago, it was like the third groups. It was like the third pair that I got. Oh my voice is echoing a lot. Just putting the light back in there. Um, so yeah, this is the one I use at nighttime. Basically, if I need to get up at night, and I don't want to have to turn on the light on the fan, which I don't do it because the control the animation one's a bit funny and such. But, um, yeah. And then, yeah, all those fans in the corner are going to be moving downstairs. Well, some of them are going to be going in the closet underneath the bed. And the ones that are going to be going go downstairs, so I'm like, that's a new shelf. So, um, yeah. I'm going to shut off this way and just leave this lamp on. And yes, this white, this fish shake actually came up with LED white. Anyways. So, yeah. And the third one that came with the third pair, or the third pair of lights that I got, is in here. Since this little closet needs somewhat of a better light in here, since the CFL was one light, it barely way up the closet in general. And the um, fourth one that came with them is in here, which was in the kitchen on the Passport 2. And that's in here right now. And it lights up with its boxes pretty well, but it also lights up my mom's closet really well, so she really likes it. So now for the updates. So speaking of that way, I didn't, that used to be in the extractor over there. And then up here. Now it's in there, in that closet. So next up is the Infinity. Yeah, so this one already has the LED light bulbs, but now it has different ones. Because as I was saying about the Lobo file, that I, have, I don't have the, what's supposed to be the right types in there, but they work well enough for me, so it's fine. I have like these, the regular types of light bulbs in there, like the regular shaped ones. And these ones now have the ones that you should, you're supposed to use for the track lights. Which I'll take them out since, so you can see them better. And for those who don't know that, I just found out about it recently, so. Well, I guess I saw by the center where you can pay attention to know that these are the right types you should be using. So I got these. Yeah, I'm these Phillips. I got four of them since this is four. And they were two bucks each, so I. So um, yeah, they were, I was trying to find one that came with all four of them. To get, that came with four of them together for like four or five bucks, but um, they only had they had them with like they would come with three of them, so I was like, so like that. So, so, so um, yeah, I figured I'd just get them like that. They fit it perfectly. These are warm, soft white, not warm white. And um, yeah. They light up the room very well. And light up the paintings in here very well as well. Or the pictures and painting. So, um, yeah. And the Cree LED light bulbs that were in here, I did not throw away, of course, since they're so useful. I put them over here. Well, now that's actually always going to be the plan. I was going to put um, some other ones in here. So, I mean, yeah, the person who told me about these, that these are the appropriate ones to use in here was um, Josh Mack, but I don't know as you, on YouTube as Richard Fan Collector, so I gotta give you a big thank you for that, for giving me the, for giving me the good advice about this. So, um, yeah, the Crees are in here. Three of them are on this light. Here's two of them. And this lamp, whenever I turn it on, the light would always, CFLs would always take would always take a very long time to light up. And here's the third one. And I use this lamp more, at, honestly, to light up the living room than the spotlight. But I use the spotlight when I'm doing homework or if I'm using a laptop and such. But um, I kind of go back and forth. I use this one more throughout the week. This one I use like maybe a few times a week. This one I don't use that much at nighttime because the bird gets very mad. 
And I just need to have one I don't have to buy them. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, and that's bad. Uh, it gets annoyed by the light. Always at night time. Alright, so let's get this out of the same better. There we go. Yeah, he's been ch confused since we put a mirror in there recently, so he's been screaming less, but he's been trying to fight with his reflection in the mirror, which is kind of fun, funny to watch. And that's the, his wife. And that's one of the other ones. Another one right there. Just for those who care, I guess. I know some of you guys really like to see the birds and such on video. And there's the other one right there. I'm just trying to get on to the kite, so I can give them away, so I just want to update you guys on which ones we still have. And these ones we're keeping. These are the ones that we have for a while, so we don't want to get rid of them. And the fourth Cree LED that was in the spotlight is now in here. And it lights up. It's not too bright, but it's, it's, more, it's kind of like the night light for the kitchen at night. We use this when we're not using this one. So like sometimes I'll have this on. Um, like I'll have this on low at night. Well, it's on four now because it's been very humid recently. And we'll have this light on so we don't have to have the light on this one on at the same time. I gotta put the infinity on as well. And I was gonna, um, while I was at Home Depot, I was going to swap these pull chains for like the more br darker brown ones that are almost the same exact finish as the blades. However, I changed my mind at the last minute because I figured these look more vintage on it. This, these pull chains make the fan look more vintage, honestly. If, having darker ones will make it look too modern, in my opinion. And this fan looks very 90s looking in general, and that type of pull chain. The same exact one as that, but it looks more like the one that you see like, on a old or a bronze one. It's like reddish brown with like a oh, antique brass trim. I was gonna get that for this, but I feel like this looks more appropriate for a 90s fan. So um, yeah, here's the other LED upgrade. The bathroom. Does the daylight? Yes, I know. So a lot of people don't like daylight, but I'm not a big fan of daylight either. But when the room calls for it, I feel like they're pretty useful. When the bathroom, I feel like it's a good spot for one. Well, in my I always I always prefer daylight for a bathroom to be honest, since I feel like a bathroom is a room that you really need a lot of light in there in general. So um, yeah, and my mom definitely likes the LED light bulb that's in here. We'll just turn this on well. Um, yeah. Put this on here and it's been doing great. Um, we use daylight. I just have daylight, daylight in here only because when my mom's doing makeup, it's the mo it's the best one for her to light for her to use. Lighting wise in here, so. And also it's helpful when both me and her, like if we're drying out here and such. Yes, yeah, so I have to dry my hair since I do have pretty long hair, so yeah. Alright, I'll just shut the light and leave the fan on well. And now for the non-fan lights, I guess. So, this one, this lamp, um, has an, a bright white LED in here. It's the Echo Smart ones that they have at Home Depot. These are the only ones that they had that were bright white and came with four, and I only needed four of them. So, and they were like five bucks. Four or five bucks for all four of them. Like it came in four of them, like four bucks or five bucks, something like that. So, yeah, I don't care about the brands too much. I know, I mean, I've had Echo Smart light bulbs in the past and they've done pretty well. Here's the other one that's bright white. And this is the one I really needed one for because this is where I do my homework sometimes. If I, if the board, the birds are being too noisy, but I, oh, oh, so if I need more space, I just put the laptop here and I had the notebook down here. And yes, the hundred centuries over here. Cause my mom stole my TV, to stole the table stand for this fan, which I'll show right now. It's in the bedroom, here it is. She just has that claw thing on it, just so it doesn't get scratched up. And here are the final LED white bulbs that have been upgraded on this lamp right here. And right here.
And I don't even know if she's noticed that these are LEDs in it if the, and that they're brighter. Because they would see if I was in there before. But, um, I noticed the difference. She might not notice it. Because they were already day what they were already bright white ones in general. If they were um, soft white, she probably would have noticed a big difference. Um, yeah, she has this lamp that I want to try to upgrade to an LED as well. Has a CFL in there. My dog sleeping right there. Show him to you guys quickly. He's mo he's just upset because my mom's not here. He gets really angry or just like don't touch me, don't talk to me when she's not here. So and there's I just think I'll create two more of the LEDs. And there's another one right here, but this one. I just need to get two of them, so these I don't really need to worry about anytime soon because we don't really use them that much. And then, but I want to try to get to one of my mom's bedroom upgraded sometime. So, um, yeah. So, yeah, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more videos to come.